In this video, we're going to be installing the latest May 2025 graphics GPU driver for the Lenovo Legion Go Z1 Extreme, which is the official version 25.5.1, which allows us to play Doom the Dark Ages and The Last of Us 2 Remastered playable with no crashes. This driver comes from Asus and AMD and was released for the ROG Alloy Z1 Extreme in response to Doom the Dark Ages not working. However, we are able to side load and manually install this driver safely with no compatibility issues to work on the Legion Go, so we can enjoy the latest games at the time of this video. And I'll be making sure to guide you all through the process of uninstalling your previous drivers and installing the new drivers correctly and without any issues as quickly as possible. So before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share this video with others and let's get started. From our Windows desktop we want to open our web browser and we want to copy and paste the link I have pasted in the description for the 25.5.1 driver from Asus. Here you'll see your downloads folder and we just want to save this driver here. Once downloaded you should see the driver in your downloads folder like so. For the moment we're going to go back to our web browser and we want to download Display Driver Uninstaller, DDU. Just select one of these mirrors and after a brief moment, DDU will download and we can download this to our downloads folder. And the third program we need is for a Mediafire link for a program called Windows Updates Show Hide, which is an official Microsoft program which I have hosted here. We just want to save this to our downloads folder as we'll need this later. So in our downloads folder we should have the AMD graphics driver from Asus, the DDU zip file and Show hide. We're going to start with the graphics driver, we're going to double click and once loaded we're going to press OK. Now here we're going to press next, I accept and next but instead of install we're going to change this to extract press next and then press next again and we'll see that the path of extraction is our C drive in a folder called drivers. So if you want to paste this somewhere else choose browse and navigate to where you want it to go. Press next and then install and wait for this process to complete. Once completed let's go ahead and press finish and we'll see our folder pop up like so now we just want to leave this for the moment so we can just close this, we'll need this later. Next we want to go on DDU and it's important to do this. We want to choose extract all and extract to our downloads folder. You'll see the DDU folder pop up. We'll see a 7-zip file, this one here. We want to double click. and we want to choose extract and we'll see DDU folder appear go inside and then we'll see display driver uninstaller once the application loads we can just press OK here and we want to choose this last option here which is prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update so check this press OK and then if you can see it press close or X up here now we will get a warning that we're not in safe mode but it's completely fine so just press OK and on the right hand side here we're simply just going to press select device type choose GPU and then we're going to select clean and restart in the top left and now DDU will remove any previous drivers that we have left on our system and give it a thorough clean and then it will restart back into Windows after the restart and we're back in Windows we may notice that our screen is portrait which is fine we can just hold press on the desktop choose display settings and then from our list we can change the orientation from portrait to landscape flipped keep changes and we want to minimize this now before we install the driver it's very important that we uninstall AMD Adrenaline we want to hold press on the start menu and choose installed apps 
and then we're going to see AMD software in the list. We want to choose the three dots here and we want to select uninstall. Now the reason we need to uninstall the AMD software is because when the driver installs it will install AMD Adrenaline for us but we are then going to update manually to the latest version that is compatible with the driver. We're going to hold press on the start menu, choose device manager and from the list we're going to go to display adapters and we'll see Microsoft Basic display adapter where we're going to hold press and choose update driver. Here we're going to press browse my computer, let me pick from a list and then we're going to choose have disk and on here we're going to choose browse we're going to navigate to this PC, our C drive, and then that drivers folder from earlier that we unzipped. We're going to go inside the AMD graphic folder, packages, drivers, display, this one folder, and from this folder we need to make sure that we choose the last u.inf file, which should be this one at the bottom, beginning with u a load of numbers, .inf. Don't choose the AMD one, we want to make sure that we choose this one and press open and afterwards we can go ahead and press OK. And from this list we're going to scroll down until we see AMD Radeon Graphics. So this is the only one we want to select. So once you've chosen this one, press next and yes and now the driver will be installed. Your screen will flash and after a brief moment the process will complete. Now once the driver is finished installing we can just press close again. We need to minimize, hold press on the desktop, display settings, choose landscape flipped again, keep changes and you may see this pop up, AMD Radeon software just got installed from the Microsoft Store. Now to get our AMD software working correctly we need to go to our C drive, go inside the drivers folder, AMD graphic folder, then we want to go inside packages, this time we want to go on the app X folder, go inside this folder, go inside the MS store folder and then we want to make sure we run this top one, 28BDB1, choose this and we'll see an update for AMD Radeon software. Let's choose this and select update and wait for the process to complete. And after around 20 to 30 seconds we'll see AMD Adrenaline appear. We can choose skip this and we'll see that our current version is 25.5.1. If we go to the gaming tab, go to the graphics tab, we'll see that we have all of our graphics options like AFMF 2.1 anti-lag, boost, chill and so on. Now from the desktop let's hold press on the start menu, go back to device manager and in display adapters if we hold press on AMD Radeon graphics go to properties and the driver tab we should see our date as the 25th of April 2025 driver version ending in 9024 confirming that this is the 25.5.1 driver. Now let's go back to our downloads folder and we want to make sure to run Wusho Hide. And once loaded we want to select next and on this screen we want to choose hide updates. And from the list we should see advanced micro devices entries which stands for AMD. Now if you don't see all of these it's fine. I have two ending in system and one ending in media and then another ending in display. You want to make sure and you will get the keyboard pop up each time so just bear with that. And we want to choose all of the options that have advanced micro devices available. So if we go through the list we can see that those are the ones there. And we're going to choose next and what this is going to do is prevent Windows from updating those entries ever so that we remain in full control of our graphics drivers. And once complete you'll see that all of the issues were fixed and Windows will no longer update anything AMD related. 
So once that's done, let's press close, close the window, and we can just restart the system to make sure it all boots in fresh. Now after the restart, there is one more thing that we can do, and this is optional. You can press start, go to settings, and at the bottom, we can go to Windows Update, and we can choose pause updates for five weeks if we want to, but Windows shouldn't update our graphics drivers. So it's up to you if you want to do that. If not, just go ahead and close the window. If this guide helped you and you learned something new today, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. As always, if you have any questions or need assistance with any part of the guide, please drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Look out for one another and I'll see you later.